hello and welcome back to my channel this is peter in this video i'll be teaching you how i created this beautiful birdie flyer using pixel lab all right without any further ado let's go straight to the tutorial all right kindly subscribe to my channel if you just join me for the first time thanks big thanks to my previous subscribers and all right let's go so the first thing i'll be doing here i'll be changing the the i'll be changing the image size so i think i used i used instagram portrait size same as um that's 1350 okay so we have that in place so this one is of no use modded by so the next one is our background i have to say this one I'll hide this so set our background let me take this ball somewhere around it so just come here then i'll first play with my hue i think somewhere around minus 30 then i'll increase the saturation then i'll take the brightness to about all right so that's beautiful so the next thing is all size all right i'll come here and i'll lock that up so the next thing is i have to look for my position the, that's the reason I'm, I'll, I'll just be sending my we notice lately I've always been putting in my the original design so in case I just want to use it to look at my position I won't actually find it very very difficult so I'll send this one to to the back because I don't want to spend time adjusting and adjusting and adjusting okay So, so I'll just increase this. Okay, so we have. No, we can just position it. Make sure it's at the center. And leave it there. Then lock that one. So the next one is this one in particular. So the the goal is not making it too big. That's why I arranged it there. It's not making it too big. So and I'll put it behind this one. Okay, now the the next one is this one. So I'll position this one somewhere at the back so I will know how it's going to feel because now the the thing is I don't want it to cover yeah I can put it somewhere here I don't want to touch the lady's face I don't want to touch her face it's actually touching the edge so I think I'm good with that okay so we have everything locked so the next one is this particular element so i'll just it is the same size the same the exact size so i can even increase it further so send this one to the back Okay, so I will just adjust this one somewhere around here. And it should just be reflecting, should be what is reflecting on the edge of my my model. So I'll just send it behind this one. So when I reduce the opacity a bit. Okay. 
okay so then i'll copy this all right and i'll position this one somewhere around here okay so okay we can leave let's just leave it out i think 30 i don't want it to be too loud all right so the next one is this actually usually i do crop this i just used my crop to adjust because i don't want that png stuff so it's already cropped so you have it and i don't want it too loud so that's why i reduce it not too big because I want it to be on its own. Okay. Alright, so beautiful. So we're almost getting there. So the next one is I'll come to black and I'll increase my pen size, increase my blur. Yay, no. Increase my pen size. I'm not supposed to close it, I'm supposed to draw. Okay. So then. I'll just stretch this. You can increase, you may not uh, stretch. Okay, so we have that guy there. Okay, beautiful. So let's see. We've made progress already, so it's just the the text and our name. So I usually like using padding, so enough padding in case you can add because of those at times the edges is to cut. Happy birthday. Okay, I'll reduce the size to about let's see 18 then i'll change the font size to probably um maybe semi bold or let's try bold let's see okay semi bold so i'll increase my to about 50 Then I'll copy this and you know, I'll just type in the name Rachel. So, alright, so in case you want to learn how to create designs, beautiful designs, I have a course which I've prepared already. I've prepared the course already. So, it's the link getting the course is in the video description or you can chat me up. Okay, so and the font I'll be using is autograph person I use all right so the next thing I'll be doing is I'll get rid of this line spacing then I'll increase the size of my So I can increase this a bit. So the next thing is I'll just bring in this text. Then I'll just paste. I think I'm having okay equal today. So and I'll just change the font to medium. Poppins medium. Now, so whenever you're writing a body text, don't use bold, please. You either use medium or regular. So, okay, um, I think the hmm? favor be upon you. 
22 20 Okay, so okay, so I am I have AUG August then I'll use a bold font for this bold font for this then I'll change the color to this let's see And favor be upon you. Then I can increase the size of this so I can set the opacity there and our fonts presents semi bold. Okay, beautiful. Let me check the line spacing. Okay, so I'll use my eyes to check if it is fit to the center. Then I think I should reduce the size. So I will just move it a bit because I want it to be a bit balanced there. It means the I I want the the space here and each on each side should be kind of equal. I think I will make the of this one. Yeah, I'll make the of that. So um and I think I added something to this. I just reduce the brightness a bit and make it a bit dark. let's leave it at 13 all right so for our may the goodness so then we just copy it all right beautiful resourceful peaceful okay then I will increase the spacing. Okay. So I will still come to my line spacing just to make even the space. So, okay. Then we'll make sure it's the font okay so we are done so this one is not okay sharp it's just because of the, that manner you can see it's not looking sharp so um the next thing is 
<laughs> the wordings are kind of different. I'll take it to Pixart. Oh, 15 minutes already. So it's just the typing and the doing this, doing that. Just, just, just typing that took enough time. We're already done with our design before. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be adding like a shape. This shape, that too. And I'll apply an overlay using that shape. So, all right, you can join my course, get my course in case you want to learn more about design, in part, graphic design. It's self paced course over 50 videos. And it also comes with, come with some other courses attached to it, like um, Photoshop, branding using pixel lab and uh, using photoshop canva came some other courses too i think that's the only course you ever want to make use of if you maybe you want to be a graphic design because i packed that course in such a way that getting the after so this is photoshop express so i packed the course in such a way that you just getting that course even though you want to stop using phone you want to use to upgrade to pc yeah you're still good with it so i'll come to adjustment i'll increase the texture to 30 clarity also to 30 i'll sharpen it then i don't know if this okay 10 okay so contrast let's just add 10 okay i actually don't need the contrast so the one i i'll be adding tint probably 10 is going to add that overall purple to it then um okay before and uh, before and after all right so that's my cue so you click on this to save all right thank you see you in the next video